Welcome back students. Uh, so this is exercise question 2.20 and uh, the figure is given here. Here uh, it is stated that the current I of X which is this current uh, is basically 50 milliamps and the voltage Vx is 3.5 volts which is this one. These two, two quantities are given here. Uh, so what we have to find out we have to find out the value of i1 we have to find out the value of this v1 and then we have to find the value of v of g these are the first three quantities so how would we approach here uh, basically i have told you guys that from any circuit if uh, from uh, with any circuit element we have three quantities which are associated and those quantities are v i and r okay if you if we know any uh, two of these quantities we can easily find out the value of the third quantity so here we know the value of i of x we have uh, the value of um, the resistance so we can easily find out the value of uh, uh, the value of the voltage which has been developed here so the value of the voltage which is developed here can be V of 50 is equal to Ix multiplied by 50 which is according to the Ohm's law Ohm's law this is by applying Ohm's law okay we have this value here so uh, the value of uh, Ix is 50 into 10 as power minus 3 into 50 so it would be 2500 multiplied by the power minus 3 and it will be equal to 2.5 volts okay uh, so we have this value now this value is uh, we have find out this value so now the question is how to find out the other values this is i1 this is v1 and we know the value of ix so how to find out the value v1 if we know the value of i1 and i2 we can easily find out the required quantities <clears throat> so this is the uh, v50 which we have find out earlier on so now to find out the value of i2 we can use here the current divider law so according to the current divider law if we want to find out the value of um, i2 the value of i2 will be equal to uh, the values of the resistors which are connected in parallel with this 250 but are in series with each other so adding them together which are 200 plus 175 we will get another resistor here okay this is equivalent circuit will be like this uh, this would be equal to 375 ohm and it would be 250 this is 50 and the voltage source is VG so uh, now to find out the value of I2 which is here this is I1 here this is I2 here so to find out the value of I2 we have to write the value of the other resistor which is in parallel with the resistor in consideration similarly adding the values of two parallel resistors so it would be oh, so, okay sorry uh, multiplied by the value of the total current which is i of x here so uh, solving it i will get here 375 divided by 250 uh, plus 375 is equal to how much 625 okay this is 625 multiplied the value of i of x which is 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 uh, uh, five. now calculating them by using our calculator 375 divided by 6 25 
this is 0.6 multiplied by 50 so this is 30 so uh, here we will have the value so this is now 30 milliamps similarly to find out uh, we know the formula for the KCL which says that the current which is flowing towards a node is equal to uh, the summation of the current which are flowing away from the node so here it would be equal to uh, now we have to find out the value of i1 so i1 will be equal to ix minus i2 which we have calculated earlier on so i1 would be equal to 50 milliamps minus 30 milliamps and it will be equal to 20 milliamps so uh, this is the uh, answer of part a which we have to find here similarly the value of v1 okay uh, to find out the value of v1 we know that again we have to apply the same rule which we have developed here so to find the same rule we know that the value of v1 is equal to i2 multiplied by 250 which is the value of the current which is flowing through the resistor and the value of the resistor we know these two values you can easily find out the third one so the value of i2 is how much 30 into 10 is per minus 3 into 250 so uh, by multiplying them we will get 7500 into 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, which will be equal to 7.5 volts so this is the value of v1 uh, to find out the value of vg here uh, we have to find out the value of vg so to find out the value of vg we have to apply kvl here by using this current direction so by using this current direction we can see that here the current is entering through the negative terminal and leaving through this positive terminal so the voltage here is rise so according to the kvl we say we say that the uh, sum of all voltage rises in any loop is equal to the sum of all voltage drop so here the voltage rise is vg uh, similarly here the polarity which we have defined according to our current direction is this one this is plus minus so this is the voltage drop and this is basically the v50 similarly here the voltage is again dropping because it is entering through positive and leaving through negative uh, terminal and uh, uh, also we can also uh, we also we can see that the resistor uh, we have a resistor here which always consumes the voltage so here we have okay, v1 okay uh, so do we know the value of uh, v50 yes we have calculated it earlier on do we know the value of v1 yes we have developed it and uh, find it out earlier on so by putting the values here vg is equal to v50 which is 2.5 volts plus what is the value of v1 which is 77.5 volts so it will give me the value of vg which is how much this is 10 volts okay so the value of vg is 10 volts which we have find out here so now uh, the last portion is to find the power supplied by the voltage source this one is a very easy question let me solve it here so this is uh, the uh, part d to find out the uh, power which is supplied by the uh, power source is pd which we can find out by this formula uh, we know the value vg we know the value of total current which is ix so vg is 10 uh, i is how much 50 milliamps 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 so 500 into transform minus 3 so the total power provided is 
0.5 volt so this is the answer now we have solved all our parts uh, which are part a part b part c and part d i hope you have understood all the basics of uh, this circuit and uh, you are understanding it well i will see you in the next video